Hey everybody, welcome to Texas e Chat. I'm Serge. I'm Rob. I'm Gen Z. I'm Gen X. And today we are continuing our Would You Rather series. So hopefully you guys have seen our previous videos. If not, there's a link in the description below, which is a link to our playlist, which has all of our Would You Rather videos in order. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're just we're just answering random Would You Rather questions, ha uh, just having a, a blast, having fun, yeah. Um, yeah. getting to know each other better. And maybe you guys get to know us better as well. Yeah. And what we would love is for you guys to participate as well if you'd like to. Um, yeah. You can put down in the comment section below what answer you would choose for these questions would um, you rather would you rather yeah <laughs> and it's just a whole ball of fun and yeah. we hope you guys enjoy this episode yeah and you know, if you watch with a, a friend or family member uh you might learn a, a thing or two about them that you didn't yeah. know before and think <laughs> oh that's pretty interesting mm -hmm. so we've had a good time doing that with each other haven't we yeah definitely so without further ado enjoy the video would you rather go to work slash school every day hungry or go to work slash school every day exhausted. So, so that's just work, right? Um, would uh, you rather go to work hungry or exhausted every single day? <laughs> I've done both. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So, uh, <laughs> um, take your pick. Yeah. Uh, I feel like hungry, I would choose. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll, I, I can, I'll hold off my re reasoning until you give your answer for which one you would choose. I would choose exhausted. Um, Interesting. Yeah. And I think what I would do is I would have a solution to fix it, but I would go every day exhausted. The The pain of hunger uh, is just horrible. Uh, huh. And I get really grouchy when I'm hungry. I get, uh, what's that word? Hangry. Hangry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. For, well, for me, here's my rationale. Was yeah. I was thinking if you're going to work every day exhausted. You're ineffective, right? You're, yeah, you, you can't function. Like yeah. you can't think straight. Your your mind is foggy and you're, you're being unproductive at work and... Um, that would affect your your career trajectory right. versus hunger. Um, just like animals, when you're hungry, you have this like this drive to suddenly do something because that's something that's ingrained in us. Because from like evolving from animals, for example, yeah. is that when you're hungry, you're you as an animal, you want to go and you want to find something to eat. Yeah. Um, so you're basically you your your mind can be sometimes in some cases have a little bit more clarity because you're you're just looking at everything like very fiercely. Mm. So yeah. I was I was thinking like. In terms of like perspective, like I feel like ha the hangry part would give you a little bit more like fierce like clarity versus mm -hmm. exhaustion would do the opposite. It would like f dim your your clarity and affect your decision making. Right. right. But I mean, of yeah. course, both would affect your decision making. Yeah, I know for sure. But I, you'd be you'd be and one makes you more cutthroat and the other one makes you more it's like ineffective. I feel like. Yes. Ineffective. So, yeah. Uh, honestly, neither one of these sound very appealing, but that was just my my thoughts. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm guessing you're sticking with exhausted. I'm going with hungry. Yes, because when I'm super hungry, um, I'm also exhausted and I'm ineffective and my, my mind just mm. goes in different places. Um, but, mm -hmm. um, well, I guess the question also is how exhausted is exhausted? Are you like falling asleep exhausted or? Well, and I've, I've done that before where I've been exhausted like that. <laughs> um, even today, I keep telling Serge, I had to figure out how to do life, you know, to get more sleep. But aside from that, um, I never used to drink caffeine. Um, at all, not mm. until I was like, I don't know, in my 30s. Um, so wow. if I were to relive life, I would have had more caffeine in high school, college for sure. Mm. Um, anyway, I would fix it that way. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, so we are going, uh, I guess in this case, I'll just click hungry. It doesn't really matter. We'll see the percentages, we'll see who agrees okay. with who more. Interesting. So wow. looks like people are leaning more towards the hunger. Yeah. Aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be abducted by an alien <gasps> or be thrown in jail for a crime you did not oh, commit? It depends on how the crime. long. What is the crime? <laughs> What's the time period? For yeah, what, a year? For a month? Yeah. For life? For life? Right. Oh. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I need to know. How I need long? to know as well. I feel like the only way of making this question fair is we assume that whatever it is, it's the same time period. So if it's for life, it's for life in either of these. If it's for a year, it's for a year for either of these. So what you what, give us a time? Uh, mm, okay. So I I did, um, I put up a different amount of fingers for each hand. You choose right hand oh, or left hand. Oh, that was good. Um, <laughs> let's go with your right hand. Right hand. So... Right hand, I had five up. So oh, man. we could have just been two, Rob. <laughs> two years. Look what I did myself. Look so, what I did to us. So five years. Would you rather be abducted by an alien or be thrown in jail for a crime you did not commit? I think I'd rather be abducted by an alien 
with the hope that they are peaceful, hmm. uh, um, nurturing. A peaceful alien. Have you seen those those like old sci-fi films? I know. With, like I the know. probing, where they like. The pro- yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm thinking about this. I'm I'm getting thrown in jail. I maybe I, it's a low security prison, and it's like a really me- it's like a really meager crime, like tax evasion. And so I'm with a lot of other people who also committed very low level crimes, right. which are very peaceful. That's right. Yeah. Well, you know, the funny thing with aliens is. I don't really believe in aliens, like th- living beings from outer space. However, I don't deny them either because mm. who am I to say they don't exist? I don't mm. know. But I don't really give it much credence. Um, right. But in this case, if this answer to this question, that means I do exist. They do. Yeah. And so because I guess I'm naive to the thought of, well, what are they out there besides what Hollywood says? Um, I would hope that they'd be uh, <laughs> more... Uh, They'd have more humanity in them. No pun intended. There, alien humanity. But, you you know. also have to eat probably really nasty stuff because they wouldn't have any human food. Yeah, as a foodie, that seems like a death sentence for you. That would be <laughs> for five sentence. years. You wouldn't be able five to eat years. Any How would I do it? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting thrown in jail for a crime I did not commit because it's going to be a low level crime. <laughs> it's definitely a smarter choice. I will say that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going with this one. You're sticking with alien. Alien. I'm Which, just really curious. I, I'm curious to see what people. Wow, wow. I'm surprised. People want to get abducted by aliens. Maybe it's maybe those people who are like really want <laughs> really really into uh, knowing what's going on in like other worlds and stuff. Yeah. No. Well, what does it say about the people sci-fi who play fans? This game? <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you rather going off of that fall down the flight of stairs or get thrown out of a moving vehicle at fifty miles per hour? <gasps> wow. Both are very dangerous. Yeah, but I mean, to me, it's, it seems very it's a no-brainer. It seems like a no-brainer yeah. down a flight of stairs. Absolutely. I feel like this is much less likely to kill you than getting thrown. Oh, out for of, sure. Absolutely. Who would miles per hour? Okay, who are the 20... Okay, so this was like... Obviously, most people chose this one, but who are the 27% who wanted to fly out of a moving vehicle? They were the idiots that we didn't want to live with. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're the ones who didn't want to know what the meaning of life was. They're just interested in the government's that's, top secrets. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you rather be able to be invisible or be able to fly everywhere? Oh. oh <laughs> this is the one you are just talking about. I, I know, and... I want both. I really, really want both. Yeah. So you know my answer. I gave it. I would fly. fly. I'd want to fly everywhere. For me, I would rather be able to be invisible. Yeah. I think there's so many cool things you could do with invisibility. Don't so. you want to be in the spotlight though, and have everyone like just? I'd rather disappear from the spotlight. I like you know me. I like to be fade in the background. Whenever I walk into a classroom, I'd I'd I instantly take the back seat in the very back corner of the classroom when I was in school or college, <laughs> unless they had a seating arrangement, which to me was 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 unbearable yeah <laughs> i was always want to be in the very back so i, I want to be invisible um and you want to be able to fly everyone i yeah I, i'd love to do that well, so when i was a kid superman mm-hmm. was my favorite superhero mm-hmm. not only because he was a good guy but he could fly <laughs> and i thought oh that's what i want to do yeah but think about with being invisible you could go that's so cool i let, know let's let's say you're at school once again we're going back to the exam we know that the teacher is going to give you a test uh, the next day or whatever or maybe the same day but you just come in super early you, you turn invisible you walk over, you find the answer sheet. You get all the answers. <laughs> right, right. You, you, right. You get all the answers or you, right, steal, yeah. you steal one of the sheets or you take your phone out and you take a quick picture of it, slip it in your pocket. You get out of there, you're invisible. No one knows the, the difference. And boom, you pass the exam. <laughs> what was the cloak that Harry Potter used to use? It was an invisible cloak. He put I, it on him a, and he'd disappear. I, I, I think I've only seen like one of the films. And it, was, oh, you're and it was when I was like a kid, so I don't remember it no at all. No way. <laughs> I just learned something about him. Oh my gosh! I just learned something about it. Are, are you a Harry? Are you a Harry Potter fan? I'm not. I've enjoyed the movies. Yeah. Uh, my daughters are. Psh, they geek out on that. Mm. Yeah, for Big me. Time. For me, I'm not. I'm, I don't know, know much about it, so I can't really say. <laughs> All right. Uh, we might have to watch one or two. All right. But in terms of this question, I'm going with the visibility. You're going with the ability to fly. Fly. I see who agrees more. Oh, <laughs> 50 50 wow equal 50 50 50 that was the first one just like us split. 50 50 yeah we split down the middle yeah <laughs> wow so i guess we won't find out which one is the better superpower because they're both equal yeah <laughs> so but we, i will learn which harry potter movie you like the best after we watch them all right it sounds like a plan <laughs> we'll see all right guys so we're cutting the episode short here <laughs> we, we hope you enjoy the video so far we had a great time and what we're going to do is we're going to basically we're going to cut up each and every single episode into their own 
um, their own little chunk. Yeah. And so the next episode will be releasing probably sometime soon, either later this week or next week. And we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell icon so you stay updated on any future videos. And without further ado, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure you uh, make some comments. Get to know us as you have, and we'll get to know you as well. Thank you. All right, guys. Take care. Yeah.